about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know Morning everyone, it's a lovely beautiful sunny Monday I've just pulled over by the storage unit, I'm not going in at the moment but I've got to go and do another pick up, as you can see the car's full from yesterday well, you can't because it's locked but um, yeah, so I've got to go and do another pick up um, a load of stuff that a guy wanted 80 quid for originally and um, I see that he's dropped it and dropped it and dropped it and I was awake early hours of the morning again so I um, messaged him because it was down to 20 quid. Asked him if he still got it. He still got it. There's pool cues in there. There's brasses in there. There's vintage, loads of vintage bits in there. So even if I get a couple of bits out of it, you know, I should make the money. I don't know what a pool cue is, but it's in a nice wooden case. So we'll see what that is. But I'm just on my way over there now to pick that up. Then we are going to come back to the storage. I'm going to try and take some photos of some of the bigger stuff, i.e. the TVs and the martial amp and that. Um, I'm probably going to have to move a load of stuff out then. I want to put a lot of this stuff in that I've got, that I picked up yesterday and then um, we'll go through what I've just picked, I'm just going to pick up now. We'll go through that and I'll show you what's there because there seems to be bundles of stuff there for 20 quid. So yeah, no, it looks like another good day of pickups. Um, I've had some sales as well. I've had uh, two pairs of trainers go to the same guy. They were separately, they were 98 pounds, I think, it come to with the price and shipping for the both. And I've done it for 80 quid, including shipping. So they've gone, two more of my Xbox 360 leads have gone, but I might have told you that yesterday. And there's a silver, handled letter, letter opener that's gone hasn't been paid for yet so I think that's everything but I'll come back to you in a bit alright guys that's um that's the biggest lot of stuff I've ever bought for 20 quid look at the car it's absolutely rammed full the boots rammed look passenger seats rammed the floors rammed there's so much stuff there for 20 quid it's crazy I should have left the other bits now, really, that I bought off the other guy, the 10 and 15 quid lot, because this was just, this is just bonkers, there's so much stuff. I couldn't believe it when I pulled up, because I thought I was I was going to empty the car out, and then I thought, nah, I'll easy fit it in. Yeah, right. Right, so anyway, that's it. I'll see you back at the, uh, the unit. Alright, everyone, so we're back at the uh, unit. That's that table and chairs at the lady gave me I've got look how full up it is and I've got a car absolutely rammed so I'm going to try and move all this about don't know where I'm going to put it all because I've got some bits I've got to get out anyway so I was just going to try and pile it up but I can't it's got to be moved it's got to be moved I don't know where so I'll start having a shift about and then I'll come back to you. Right, so this is a table. Look at it, it's beautiful wood. It's all wrapped. Solid wood, that's the base. There's the chairs, they're all in good condition and the table's in beautiful nick as well. Solid pine. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, I had to pile everything up. I've got a little bit of floor space now. This is all the stuff. Those games on top of there. Um, all these things here. All this lot here. All this lot here. And that big box there. I think is everything that I've got from this bloke, but I'm going to pull it out and show you anyway. Alright guys, this has just taken me ages to get all this stuff out. I just paid 20 quid for all this. It's unbelievable. I've never known anything like it. But I'm going to spin the camera around now and show you. Right, I'm going to start in here. So all this china, all these vases, all these saucers, all this 
beautiful things like these little vases and pots and and everything. You know, oh, break it. I'm gonna break it, eh? But look at that. And it's not got a maker's mark or nothing like it, but there's a lot of vintagey stuff in here. Look, there's some pots, teapots, cups, saucers, some lovely plates up here. Let me just quickly show you these, look. I mean, they're dirty, but look at that. And the maker. Alfred Meakin. So, it's all that. It's all the plates underneath. So, this, this, this. I could probably get my money back just on those bits. Some kids clothes there, not bothered about that. Kids plate thing, not bothered about that. Right, and here's where it gets a bit mad. Right. Farmopoly, probably worth about 15 quid. That's all sealed in there. Sky Electrics, Mini Sky Electrics. You know, I'll try whether it works. If it doesn't, it's all right for spares. Look, it's, the whole thing's there. A uh, box full of. I think someone collected the little forks and spoons because I'll show you in a minute. There's a Sylvanian family house there. Look, some vintagey thing. There's a pot there. It's a shame the handle's broken off. And car charger. Still in the box, look. Some little bits like a Buddha. That's some VHSs. Some of them might be worth something. Little pots. Got all these collectible teaspoons. Look at them all. Right, some old paperwork and old cutlery. That one, look. That is Thursday, May the 13th, 1937. The crowning of George VI, King and Emperor. That's got to be worth some money. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Ainsley Fine Bone China. Look at that christening plate. The box is dirty inside, but I think they're weirdo chopsticks. Look at them shoe. The things that shoe stretchers. This is a shame. No, they're just drafts. But look at this beautiful thing. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And well, he's just obviously shoved it in the box. The shoe on bit's broken off. Lovely pot there, look. <coughs> DVDs. Not that bothered, I've got too many DVDs as it is. Um, remote control car. Books. Kids games. Junior Scrabble. That is sealed inside, it's minty fresh. 15 quid. The white basket thing underneath, like a vintage basket. Probably get a tenner for that. A couple of old bits. Look, a new pendant light. Probably wouldn't bother, but that's not been used. Remote control digger. Probably broke, the controller works. A bag of TY baby, beanie babies or whatever they're called. Look, look at this beautiful plate. Look, fox in the barn. Look, another plate with a certificate, look. The spinner, beautiful plates, look, off to work. Fresh in, another little pot. Look. I've got to try and move around it all. Look, brasses, trays, trays, plates, plates. Look, mosaic bowl. Look, vintage Shire horse and cart. They're worth money. Some of these wooden pots. Look, that one's got a lid. This one hasn't. It's just got an insert. So maybe that's a vase, wooden vase. Look at that beautiful bowl. Look at it. It's beautiful. <coughs> Pair of wooden candlestick holders. Look at these beautiful boxes, look. Okay, so they're like little trinket boxes. This one's a, it's a musical box. It's got marbles in it, look. So you've even got marbles in there. Look, this has got to be vintage. Little pig. Delfts. Law Holland little thing look so that look I mean that's that I've seen them go for a right few quid and there's nothing wrong with that one look at all these bits look ornaments little birds this is broken this is a shame because that's that looks quite nice old football boot that's broken on there look at this 
This thing's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it, it's heavy. It's got WW 1969. Look at that. That's really nice. Got a bit of fading on the back of the ears, but there's nothing else wrong with it. Look, carriage clock. It's not got a battery in it, it takes the one and a half volt, I think, the big batteries. But I've got that. So let's put them back on there because they're nice. Okay, so where have we got to? Right, so we've done those. Look at all that. That's crazy. All the plates and the brasses and the plates with the certificates. Another plate with the certificate, the Fox. The TY Babies. Remote control digger. Light. Games. Basket. Kids clothes. China. China and stuff. Uh, you've seen all these ones. Right, so if we go this side, look. These, there's nothing in these, but look at the quality of that, look. Cutlery box. Beautiful box that is. Look, another cutlery box. Another nice box. This one's got a load of collectible spoons in as well, look. Western Australia. Look. Paris, France. Can't tell me people ain't going to buy things like that. Look. Plymouth. Ah. That looks like looks like a spinnaker tower at Portsmouth. But look, I mean these look at this. That one's is that not Yogi Bear? No, Huckleberry Hound. Look at that. You know, just, uh, so you've got all that. That's another old vintage box. All that. All that. All that. All this. It's just taken ages to set it out so you could see it. So that there. That there. Them plates and bowls and everything. So that one. So here. DVDs, yeah, I think I've shown you everything now, but really for 20 quid, I'd say it's worth it. It's like a weird little little guitar box, look, opens up, little storage thing, that might actually be a, looks like it might be a little um, old vintage, um, like a uh, ashtray, look. How cool is that? You know. All that stuff. All those boxes, all the old foot stretchers. So it's a shame about that, because it's something that's nice, but I might make that into something else. But I mean, look at all that stuff. 20 quid. If you can do better than that guys let me know. I think that's I think that's pretty unbeatable for twenty quid. Especially if some of these things are collectible as well. But yeah. Alright, better put it all away. That's a shame guys, I've just gone to put this away and I've just noticed that he has got some damage on his leg. What a shame, it's a lovely piece as well. Might just have to go on my shelf once I get the office straight. I can't even, I don't even know where to put everything in it. It's crazy. Just put the last few bits to put away. I'm taking them bits home to list and put on. Along with some other bits I've got at home. I've got them silver steamer as well. Brand new steamers, clove steamer. Got the tele up there, stacked it all up, look. That's all the stuff I've got today, look, all my games and that. I'll stick all them on. Do it like over the next couple of weeks or towards Christmas. So, yeah, some nice stuff there. 
Oh, I can't believe about that. Well gutted. But at least it means I get to keep it. Alright everyone, we're just in town. I've got to get some tape, post a letter. Um, I've run out of masking tape, so, uh, not masking tape, parcel tape. So, just got to grab some rolls of that, get back, get a few bits off, and then list. So, I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, I've um, just retaken the photos of the set of the bowling pins and replaced those because I listed some the other day. I had to redo the um, photos of the actual set I was selling. So, done that. Um, showing you all the stuff at the at the unit. Um, I've packed a couple of bits out of game today. I'll do the other bits tomorrow and get them gone then. Because uh, I need to find a little letter opener, but I think it's in there. If it's not in there, I know where it is. It's in the box at the unit, buried. <laughs> so I hope it's not there. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get some more stuff listed and I'll drop them two Hermes off later but yeah I'm gonna pull some more bits out and get it listed now okay I've um, I've listed a PS2 bundle for my mate I've listed an old Panasonic camera uh, with an audio, audio mixer and that for another friend of ours look I've got these starlings out of my garden loads of them Loads of them. Um, yeah, so um, I just had to clear some stuff up in the garden for the wife. Well, not for the wife. She left it there the other day when she was tidying up. Um, and then, yeah, and then it's listing more stuff for the rest of the night. So I've listed a few bits already, which is good. I bought some stuff back from the unit to list. Some stuff out of the pickup from today as well. So, yeah. Gonna get as much as I can done because I might be going to see my brother tomorrow. Uh, I think he wants me to put some shelves and that up, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. Might see Brian. Might pop in to see Brian for a cup of coffee and a Gordon's alive. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how we get on. Right, everyone. So it's quarter to eleven. I've done some bits and pieces. I put some of those plates on that you saw earlier. I uh, put the little piggy bank thing on the Delfts. That's quite nice. I've listed some DVDs as well. I've listed yeah some of the plates. I haven't done all the haven't done all the little trinket boxes and stuff yet. And I've got this as well, Daily Mirror. I mean that's a Really old newspaper. I used to have a Titanic newspaper I sold. But that's a cool thing. So I've done that. Yeah, I've done the uh, PlayStation 2 lot. I've just been on uh, on a stream. Not, I haven't been on it. Excuse me. Just been on chatting to uh, Channel Cookie and the Haydens. So yeah, they're really nice people. Talking to some of the guys I know. Uh, just had about another three, I think, three new subs as well from going on there. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's quite good. So like I say, I've done some DVDs. I've oh see, I I bought a DVD player, uh, not a DVD player. I bought a VHS player before with six. It came the the VHS with six. Um, VHS's of the Cure. I sold the. I paid a tenner for, and he gave me the DVDs and the DVDs. It's getting late. He gave me the VHS's with it, with the VHS player. I paid a tenner. I've sold the VHS player for fifty. I've still got the six VHS tapes of the Cure, and they should get about forty quid as well. So from a tenner's outlay, so it little flies. Um, I should get about 90 quid. So, yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, I've listed some... Oh, bits, I've listed other bits. 
listed some more film props as well. Um, I've got these little collectible spoons. But I'm going to investigate a bit more into those and see what they're about. This is quite nice. This is that pool cue. I don't think they go for much really. I mean, for the size of it, it's lovely that. Stuart Surridge, I think it is. So it's lovely wood. And it hasn't got a metal screw. It screws together its wood. It screws in there, so that's quite nice. But they go for like, I don't know, you can pick them up for like 10 to 20 quid. So I really couldn't be bothered with selling that for 20 quid. By the time you pay shipping at all, or even if you even if you had shipping, it's going to be a few quid. Um, yes, yeah, so these are two pairs of trainers that are sold. Trade's really good on those. Trade's really good on those. Look. And those come in a lot. Some some of you might know. I bought seven pairs for forty pounds for the whole seven pairs, size eights, off somebody. Um, like I say, and I've sold them two for eighty, including shipping. So say I make, you say I get sixty quid back. You know that's I've got my money back and fifty percent profit already. So yeah, that's that's quite good. Um, and I've still got five pairs. So we're just going to keep chipping away, chipping away at the um, at the listings. So I've got to go to my brother's room. I've got, I've got DVD players there. I've got more separates I've got to put on. I've got a DVD VHS there, but I bought a new remote for that, so I might keep that. But yeah, so there you go. So we've got over 250 listings now, which is, is good for me. I only used to ever have sort of 10 to 12 listings at a time. And obviously, I've built it up since I started all this and went on furlough. So, yeah, it's, um, I've got 259. 259. Yeah, so we're getting there. We are getting there. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, as always, I really, really thank you so much. You know, I've got over 200 subs now, which is really good. When I first went on furlough in April, I was sort of wavering between 23 and 26 subs. I think they kept going up and down, 23, 26. But obviously I'm putting more content out now and better content. So, yeah. So, you know, consider subscribing. Uh, I'm sure, you know, I'm, ho I'm hoping you won't be disappointed if you subscribe. And if you already are, hit the notification bell so you know every time I'm uploading. And as I said, tomorrow, I might get some listings done in the morning. I've got a couple of parcels to do. Um, I've got the Chinese takeaway 250 piece puzzle going as well, sealed. That went for a tenner, I paid two quid for that the other day. I've got the two pairs of trainers. Uh, the person's paid for the silver letter opener now. So that's either in the box behind me or it's in a box up at the storage unit. Probably with stuff on top of it. But it shouldn't be the end of the world to get to it. And I think... Let's have a look quick. I think that's all the orders that have got to go off awaiting dispatch. Yep, that's it. So it's the two trainers, the, the puzzle and the letter opener. So yeah, that's it for now. 
It's been nice having you all along. I'm still getting nice comments, and it, it you know, I love that. It makes me want want to make more content for you, and keep doing what I'm doing. You know, you keep watching it, I'll keep making it. That's what I say. So that's it now. Until tomorrow, I will do some sort of filming tomorrow. So if I get up in the morning and do some listings, I'll I'll bring you on with that. And then when I go up, see my brother. You know, if I can get a bit of something done when I go down to Brian's, then I'll do that for you. And um, yeah, other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Night's life. Subscribe to it. He's a lovely lad. They're a lovely family. It's a lovely life. And he's a lovely man. Subscribe to him.